How's it going, guys? As I promised, we're going to go ahead and review internet security of a set antivirus. Last time we reviewed essential security, but now we're going to do internet security, which is the upgraded version. Uh, more in the middle. We did essential security here last time. Now we're going to do advanced security. And apparently we're going to get privacy and banking protection on this one, network and smart devices protection, and of course the malware, ransomware basic protection. Now this is the middle one, the middle tier software of a set. So it looks similar to Essential last time we were looking at it. Uh, we'll also look at uh, PC Magazine's review of it, the pros, the cons, and also the tests that they do where they actually test it with viruses. So we're going to take a look at all that guys. I will post a link on the description of the video for you to download it. Basically go to asset.com, go to download, that's what I love about a set. They have free trial downloads for 30 days. The other antivirus programs don't. Freaking bastards. <laughs> they ask for a credit card before you can even try it. But a set doesn't do that. They just ask for an email address, which is good. You guys can go ahead and download it too. Try it out. Off the bat, guys, um, right, right away we already see here on the main page, we already see uh, banking and payment protection right here. Anti-theft. Protect your computer from theft. And the network inspector here. Um, you know, when you have the free trial, it's going to tell you attention required. You're using free trial. All right. But let's go ahead and take a look at the new feature here, banking and payment protection. It's going to open it, open it here on the web, on the web page. And basically, this is like a sandbox browser where it's safe. It's a secured browser. So here you can go ahead and. Uh, Go, for example, like to uh, uh, Wells Fargo, right? And then from here, go ahead and do your banking. So once you open this up, you know you'll be secure, guys. So that's a good thing that they have. Let's take a look at their anti-theft here and see what that does. This device is not protected by anti-theft. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can manage it securely, remotely, on its set home portal. Uh oh, you guys know my email address now. <laughs> so you'll have to use their uh, home portal on their website to use that, guys. And um, you create a phantom account. So you guys can go ahead and play with this, but basically you make a phantom account and uh, your, it protects your accounts, protects your automatic login is now disabled. I do have an automatic login on this computer. Um, I don't have nobody, it's only me and my wife that live here, so I really don't care. But uh, yeah, you go ahead and create a phantom account. We're just going to put test. And it's going to create a Windows user phantom account. It looks like my computer's stinking. It's stinking. So it's a fake Windows user account. And if anybody tries to use it, it'll let you know. That's basically what it's saying there. So I think it created it. You guys will have to go ahead and play with that guys. I really don't want to mess around with my uh, with my uh, accounts but I think it did but you guys can go ahead and play with that. But the, yeah you can create that. So basically they'll log into it and it'll be a fake one and then that way you can catch them. I, I think that's how it works. But that's pretty cool features. So now that we got to the in internet security now we're starting to see more features when we had the essential security when we were reviewing that one it didn't have much and they were charging you for it <laughs> so network inspector let's take a look at that uh so that's our network the pandas uh, we don't recommend using network inspector in an untrusted network hmm. continue anyway so here we are okay okay now you guys probably know my IP address. Oh no! <laughs> I won't mess with more of this, guys, just for uh, uh, privacy concerns. But anyway, <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. We took a look at those. Right now, uh, to scan your computer, just click right here on Scan Computer. It really does not have any other type of scan other than custom scan. Um, you, to do a custom scan, you have to just check box, do it. 
a check box on uh, a check mark on each the boxes you want to scan. <laughs> I can't talk today. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> All right. So I have it paused right now, but I'm going to go ahead and continue. Now, it looks like this scan takes forever, guys. So I recommend down here where it says action after scan, you can go ahead and make a shutdown when it's done, restart, hibernate, sleep, whatever you guys want to do. I recommend you guys do that because it does take a long time. This scan has been going on for a while. To update it, you go here, but it looks like it updates automatically. That's what I noticed it did right away. All right, when you go to tools, here you can look at log files, running processes, security report, and network connections. Now, it does have the system inspector here. <clears throat> so this is where you can make a status snapshot. We're going to put test and create. There it is. It's generating it. So basically that protects you. If your computer was to go down the drain with a bad, nasty virus, you have a snapshot there that you can go back to. All right. Tool to collect detailed information about the system. Okay. That's what it is. We got a scheduler here. Now it lo this looks a little weird to me. It's I, I, like I said before, a set is not very user friendly, guys. It's more for advanced users because this right here to a beginner, they'll be like, I don't even know what the heck's going on here. But when you right click it, you could show task details. Um, you can add a task. Uh, I'm gonna call it auto updates. Update, there we go. And enable, and we let's make it do it weekly. Boom. Uh, just do it on a Sunday at 12 a.m. is fine. I'm just doing, it's just a quick uh, sample. All right, and then finish. Click yes. And there we are, guys. Now we have a, a automatic update that's gonna happen once a week. All right, now, Looks like a set does have a system cleaner. And you guys can go ahead and play with this. I really don't want to start uh, messing around with too much Windows uh, settings. But this is where you can do Windows System Restore. Uh, settings that could change the behavior of your computer. You can go ahead and protect you uh, so that doesn't happen. And the system appearance, you can go ahead and uh, customize that but by clicking Reset here. And you know, it. It doesn't have, I was, I was expecting a cleaner like for uh, junk files, right? But it's not, it's not a cleaner for junk files. It's weird. All the other antivirus programs do have this tool for junk to clean, but this one doesn't. Now we do have a network inspector tool. We did look at that earlier. And if you want to look at your quarantine files, this is your quarantine. And that's it, guys. That's all you really got. Um. And really, that's not much stuff. I mean, the banking and payment protection, little sandbox is pretty cool. The anti-theft is cool. All that is stuff is cool, but for what you're gonna pay, I mean, let's go. Let's go ahead and take a look at how much it's gonna, it's gonna cost. Um, uh, where does it say the price? Hold on a sec. I want to show you guys what the price would be. All right, guys. So here we have the price. It, it's going to cost um, $50. And I believe that's yearly. For one year. Yep. $50 per year. And, of course, they have a crazy one for business here for $220 per year. For what you're getting, guys... For what we looked at here, um, that's kind of pricey. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the pros and cons. We should have started the video with this, but um, never too late. So the pros is, is very good antivirus lab scores, which we're going to take a look at those lab scores here in a bit. Full-featured Android protection. So they also make it for Android. No impact in performance on your computer. Uh, useful home network security scanner and anti-theft software for laptops. So that anti-theft that we saw works better with laptops. The cons is very limited parental control. And there is a parental control in there. You just have to log into the web page and you can see it. It's got poor score and hands-on malware protection tests. We'll look at those scores here in a bit. Unusually annoying firewall pop-ups and Pro Edition adds little for Mac OS. Like I said, you don't get very much and you're paying for something. And 
like I said before, this compares to the free version of Avira, right? Avira has cleaner, has uh, even has a VPN. This one, does this one have a VPN? No, none. See that? No VPN. Avira did. Uh, it's got firewall, anti-spawn, parental control. It does not have backup. It does not have tuna. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lab scores. We'll finish this video up with the lab scores. And here we are, guys. 9.4 out of 10 in lab scores. Now, that's still up there in the 9s. I mean, there's other ones that are in the 8s. Like Malware Bytes is 8. K7 is 8. So it's up there in the 9s. So it's not bad. Look, Bid Defender has 9.9. .9. Damn. We're going to have to look at that one next. I think we already made a video on that one. But yeah, that's it, guys. It's got 9.4 out of 10. Um, it's up there. It'll protect. But like I said, look at these cons. It's the cons I was talking about earlier, guys. Very limited parental control. Poor score. Uh, it does not have a VPN. It does not have a tuna. Doesn't. I thought it did have a backup. Didn't we make a snapshot earlier? Snapshot. But anyway, <clears throat> doesn't have tune up. So that's it, guys. I'm gonna have to give this one three out of five. Uh, three or maybe two out of five stars, guys, because it doesn't have much. It's expensive, 50 bucks a year, and you really don't get much, guys. I'm just going to call it 2 out of 5. I'm sorry, a set, but or maybe 3 out of 5 because you're 9.4 on the test results. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will be looking next at... Smart Security Premium. That'll be the next video we make. I'll see you soon in that video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll... And We'll see you later.